The former leaders of the opposition in parliament and political scholars agreed that it was wrong for member of parliament Mathias Mpuga to be allocated money from the parliamentary commission. It is, it is wrong because there's no basis. The, the, the terms of service of leader of opposition is in the law. You, you cannot act outside the law. You'd be in breach of the law. Or you'll be abusing your office. Not a criminal. If somebody has suggested it, or maybe parliament, maybe maybe the government, maybe the public service, would have make some, made some sense. But a, a commissioner to give them service and give nobody else, that was criminal. On Thursday, the National Unity Platform said it had tasked him to step aside from the role of parliamentary commissioner after he was allocated 500 million shillings on the pretext of it being a service award. Maurice Ogenga Latigo and Wafulo Gutu say there was never such an award given to them at the end of their tenure. When I was leaving as leader of opposition, I even wanted just my laptop, which I was using as my personal computer, to go with. Parliament did not give me. And, and I still feel very hurt about it because that was a computer I was using, I was writing my letters and things like that. And to acknowledge that somebody occupied an office and not give was terrible. They hold that it would have been right for it to be provided in the law for the benefit of the person leaving the office since it is equivalent to the position of prime minister. Instead of defining the leader of opposition as an equivalent across the board with the prime minister who is lead of government business and therefore defined like deputy prime minister or something. They said uh, the status of the leader of opposition is equivalent to that of a minister. A minister doesn't lead government side in parliament. When we would go for independence, I will sit the next row behind the president no minister sits there. The former MPs who represented FDC in Parliament questioned where the Commission obtained the budget without a law providing for benefits. Where did they get the money from? What authority they, do they have to divert the money? It is wrong. Regardless of how good the intention is, it is wrong because they have done it wrongly. For me, it is like it makes uh, the speaker who push for it, you know, she is doing it for her own selfish interests. Parliament is paying multiple pensions to people who are still serving and earning from the taxpayers' money, which is very fraudulent. What vote did they use to pay this money to commissioners? And all the commissioners got money, and they are still, like the NRM commissioners, they were returned as commissioners. So they got pension in courts for being a commissioner in the 11th parliament, and they are still serving, meaning they are expecting another pension in courts. The experts have pointed an accusing finger at the Minister of Finance for failing to conduct due diligence on parliament's budget. We know that parliament is self-budgeting and self-accounting, but that does, that does not give them an unlimited access to, to the treasury, to rob the treasury whenever they want. So either parliament is budgeting and hiding money in ambiguous votes, which they are using for these ambiguous payments, or finance is sleeping on the job in its supervision. They commended the National Unity Platform leadership for taking a firm stand on the matter, but also demand that the party should wield the stick against all party members found on the wrong side of the law. If those members cannot maintain the level of discipline and values that you cherish, then the members should go away. You would rather remain a few people who have a coherent message, a coherent character, rather than having a baggage of so many people with different interests, so you are basically eating each other within. So as far as I'm concerned, it's, it's bad to lose Matthias Mpuga. I, I consider him as one of uh, the most intelligent uh, uh, lawyers in town. I think he's, uh, he's, uh, he's, he's as a person. But what, is, what has happened with this disclosure is that he has failed on a character. It will be noted that there have been allegations against some members of the 11th Parliament for being bribed. One of those claims had to do with 40 million shillings dished out under unclear circumstances. Another had to do with 100 million shillings in relation to the passing of a supplementary budget of 3.5 trillion shillings in December. Whereas Mpuga has declined to step down as parliamentary commissioner, the experts say 
that the party has the right to recall him. It's the party that sent him there. They, they have the, the, the right to withdraw him. Nothing can hold on. To no. He is a representative of, of the official opposition in the parliamentary commission. And they will withdraw him. Because uh, people like uh, my friend Matthias Mpuga, uh, even the speaker, by the way, they should all be resigning their positions because it's very, very, it's, 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 uh, it's unbelievable that you can have an institution of parliament led by people who sit and negotiate deals amongst themselves and it is okay. So as far as I'm concerned, uh, the, owner, the most honorable thing to do for someone like Matthias Mpuga is to be able to resign. Jackson Onyango, ANTV.